Hello and welcome to the Z Hut. Today we're going to look at three of the best ways I know of to bait a mouse trap to get that mouse almost every time. Now, if you've seen any of my previous videos, I am very much against using peanut butter and spreadable cheese as well on traps because over 50% of the time, in my experience, now, there's going to be somebody that's going to just all of a sudden start typing a comment. And, oh, I get them 90% of the time. Well, that's just a rare fluke. For most of us out there, using the peanut butter on the trap, it's, I'd say, about a 50-50 shot that you're going to get the mouse and 50% and you're going to come out, find the trap unsprung and as clean as it was when it came out of the package. Now, the three ways I'm going to show you here today, one of them, I am kind of against peanut butter, but there's some people that had a few good ideas, and there is one, the first one we'll go over does use peanut butter, but there's a way to do it where it's going to reduce the chance of the mouse licking the trap clean. You probably still will find it licked clean once in a while, but we're probably talking, instead of only getting them 50-50, you're probably going to move it up to about 75% of the time you'll get them. So you can still use the peanut butter. I just, um, if you can do the second two we're going to go over, I would recommend going with them because uh, most of the time you don't even have to rebate the trap. And uh, the, the very last one, if you've watched any of my other videos, you've probably seen that. But uh, I have two new ones, and then uh, the one that I've covered in my other videos, I will go over at the end just in case um, you're new and haven't seen it. And I also got a little twist um, to it, so it's slightly different. All right, with that, um, I've got a brand new package of four traps here, not even opened up. So I'm going to move the camera in here to the workbench so um, you can see it a little better. And we'll uh, rip this package open, and uh, we'll start out with the, the, the trick for using peanut butter to where you're going to get them more than 50-50. So I'll catch you there in just a second. All right, I got the camera, everything moved in, and everything set up, so why don't we just get right down to it? All right, uh, I got my brand new unopened package of mouse traps. There's four of them here. Now, normally, this is a tip I just want to throw out. I normally get the name brand, um, the Victor traps, but I was at the dollar store today. Um, the traps I normally use are all Victors, but um, I didn't want to have a all bloodied up, messed up trap that's probably had 20 mice killed in it for doing this video. And I was at the dollar store, and this is what they had. It was like um, $1.99 for four of them, so I picked them up. They work, they do, but for some reason the Victors just, um, they seem to work just a little bit better. If this is all you can get, go ahead and use it, um, no problem. All right, so let's go ahead and open these up. And these are the Mouse Guard. Mouse traps. Throw that out of the way. All right, we only need one of them here to start with. All right, for the first one, we are going to use the peanut butter. Now, like I said, I don't really recommend using peanut butter, but in some cases, you might not be able to do the other two methods I'm going to show you. So I am going to show you a trick. If you do have to use peanut butter, this will increase your odds. So, all right, let's go ahead and open the peanut butter up. Grab a utensil and get just a little bit on the end. Now what you do, instead of smearing it on the top, which is what everybody's going to automatically go and do, take and, uh, let me get that straightened out there, smear it on the underside. Just like that. And then... Hopefully it doesn't go off on me. There. Now what, what's going to happen is because it's underneath, they're actually going to be nudging against it, not just sitting there licking the top, gently licking it. They're going to be, you know, bumping their head and trying to get underneath there to lick it clean. So what's going to happen is it's going to increase your odds of them setting it off. Like I said, you put the peanut butter on the top, uh, most of the time, the, the trap isn't going to get set off. I mean, it's like, it's like a 50-50, and that's on a good day. All right, well, that's the peanut butter trick. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and release this trap. Uh, I guess I'll 
wipe the peanut butter off because I don't set my traps with peanut butter. Um, get that off my finger. All right, well, let's grab a uh, clean, clean trap for the uh, next, the next trick here. All right, this is another one. Now, this is something that uh, in my other video on how to bait a rat trap to get the rat 99% of the time, somebody left a comment about uh, doing this. And um, I tried it out, and it does actually work, and it is a really good idea. But uh, using Tootsie Rolls, and I'll show you in a second why. But um, once again, I was at my local dollar store. They didn't actually have real Tootsie Rolls, but they had these things called Bit of Honey. And then they had these other fruit uh, things. Anything that's similar to a Tootsie Roll is going to work. So I just grabbed a bag of these. They were a buck, and I think there's like um, 30 of them in the bag or something like that. Now, um, what I was told to do is you chew it up. You know, just don't swallow it and then wrap it on here. I'll show you in a moment. But um, every time I went to try to chew one of these up, I ended up just eating it because these things are actually pretty darn good. So what I did is uh, we actually don't need a whole one for a mouse trap on a rat trap. If you did this, you'd, you'd want to use the whole one. Whoop, there it fell out. What I did is I got here a cup. Um, I put this in the microwave and heated the water up. And then I put it in there just a moment ago when I first uh, started talking about doing this. So it's only been in there for a very short amount of time, but it's hot water. I put it in the microwave for like two minutes. Take it, put it on there, then form it around. And just like that. Now it's going to take um, a few minutes for that to cool off. Hopefully you can see that good, but um, the the mouse is not going to be able to, they might to start with, start licking on it. But unlike peanut butter, if they did sit there and were licking on this, they'd be sitting there licking for a long, long time. Just remember to try to keep it somewhat flat so you don't have it sticking out on the bottom too much. You want them to be able to push down on it to set it off. Let's go ahead and set this one. There we go. So they're going to come up, and this is going to be hard. And you can hear that. Um, when you put them in your mouth, it takes a moment or two, and then they get soft. Or if you leave them in the sun, you know, they get soft. But uh, this will harden back up nice and hard like that, and pretty much super glued the bait under the bait pan. So they're not going to just sit there and lick this off. You know, they might come up and lick it to start with. They're going to grab a hold of it, and they're going to try to run off with this, and bam, it's going to set the trap off, and you got them. You got them. nice thing is uh, you come out, uh, drop the mouse out, reset the trap, and be good to go. And I'll, I probably already, somebody's watching this, and they're already typing before it even gets all the way through. Oh, you can't reuse your traps, or... You're not wearing rubber gloves while you're baiting them. Please check out my video on uh, myths about baiting, baiting mouse and rat traps. Um, I'm not just some guy that walked in off the street that knows nothing about mice making these videos. Um, I bred mice and rats for pet stores for about six years when I was younger. And I was in high school and grade school. And I did lots of experiments for science class and stuff because I had tons of rats and mice. Trust me. Wearing rubber gloves makes no difference. Um, I have traps that have probably caught two, three dozen mice or rats. Makes no difference. They keep coming back. If mice and rats were deterred of the smell of humans, they wouldn't be in your house. So check that video out. I'll put a link in the description below. It goes into it more in depth about myths on baiting traps. All right, well, that's the Tootsie Roll baiting method. Now, if you've watched any of my other videos and here's a fresh trap I uh, I am I like to use cat food or dog food and grab it here uh, I got it plugged in I like to take and hot glue gun it on there because that um, that was the best technique I found but um, that Tootsie Roll technique is pretty much about as good 
But, uh, well, this is how we do it. You need some kind of bait. And before I was using cat food and dog food, I found these pretzels. They just barely fit between there. When the trap is sprung, you do sometimes got to have to replace it. But the pretzel, for some reason, works even better than the cat and dog food. So we just put a little drop of hot glue. And we put the pretzel on there. And we go ahead. That'll take them about a minute for the glue to dry. But, uh, of course, by the time the mouse comes up, it'll already be dry. But the nice thing about this, it gives them something they can actually grab onto. And they're going to tug right away. And this actually, it, it seems even more effective than the cat food and dog food. It seems to get more hits. I don't know, maybe the pretzel puts off a scent that attracts them more or whatever. But the pretzels, I've been having really good luck with them. Um, you can use the ones like this. Or you could probably take you know, the pretzel stick and glue that on there as well. But hot glue. And you can use other things, breakfast cereal, cat food, dog food. Anything that you can hot glue gun onto that bait pan that's, uh, well, if you can hot glue gun it, it's not going to be soft and creamy, so they're not going to lick it off. They're going to come up, they're going to grab a hold of that, and they're going to start yanking, tugging, trying to run off with it to bring it back to their nest. And guess what? They're dead. But that's the drawback of using the pretzel. It self-destructs when the trap goes off. But um, if you're using cat food, dog food, uh, Cheerios, stuff like that, that don't happen. But I did find the pretzel was attracting them better, and I guess I don't really mind having to rebate the trap every time. I'm getting rid of them. So, all right, um, that's it for the mouse traps. I am going to be doing a video. Uh, it's kind of similar to this on rat traps, but there's some um, a little bit different things you can do with the rat traps. Um, as long you know the Tootsie Rolls can work, pretzels, hot glue gun, and that uh, peanut butter. But there is another trick for the rat traps. Uh, actually, there's a second one. There's two more new ones that I haven't covered before and that'll be an upcoming video coming soon so make sure to subscribe to catch that Tom um, thanks for joining us here today at the Z Hut you found this information useful please give us a thumbs up uh, with that I'll say have a great day and I hope you catch more uh, critters in your traps